what's going on so today i'm going to teach you how to improve your fps in battlefield 2042 without changing your graphical settings and uh, this is pretty easy to do and you can do this with amd and nvidia graphics cards i have an nvidia graphics card so i'm going to show you the nvidia uh, setting which is the last one but if you have a uh, amd graphics card you have this setting as well i uh, just you do it differently so i'll show you that right now let's go all right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to enable DX12. For some reason, Battlefield 2042 uh, runs in DX11 mode uh, as default, but you're gonna to wanna to change it to DX12 because DX12 actually improves your frames per second, at least it does on my NVIDIA card. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, you wanna to go to your documents folder and click on Battlefield 2042. Go to settings and go to the profile save profile uh, uh, file right here. Right click on it, show more options. And I'm using Windows 11 here, by the way. And you're gonna wanna edit with Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, just download it, it is free. So just click on that. Now go down until you see DX11 enabled. By default, it should say zero, but you're gonna to wanna to change it to one. So instead of instead of zero, change it to one. And then save, close out, and then go right click on the same profile save profile. Go to properties and click read only so that the game cannot change the settings by itself. So there you go. DX12 is gonna give you improved performance. For example, if I enable DX12 in Battlefield 5, I get like 20 to 30 uh, better frames per second than if uh, I keep it on DX11. So close that out. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure the game is utilizing your processor and all its cores. So this, is a user config file you can just make this in regular or you can use this in regular notepad you don't need notepad plus uh, plus but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just create a new text document in this text document and i'll uh, put put this down in the description below as well uh, you're going to just want to copy this and paste it inside of the text document and you're going to want to name the text document user dot cfg for config all right so this this text document that you're going to have in your desktop you're going to want to go to uh, where your game is so mine is on my second drive go to games and find your game where it's installed this is like where it's going to have the exe file all that stuff you're just going to want to drag that config file right into the main main hub of where your game is, all right? So if I open this up, you're gonna see, boom. So <clears throat> this is gonna be blank for you, the seven and six. What you're gonna wanna do is check out your processor, your core count. You can do that by uh, going to task manager and you can go to CPU and it'll tell you how many cores you have. So I have six cores, all right? because I have a six core CPU, but if you have a 10 core CPU, eight core CPU, 12 core CPU, you're gonna put that number here. So if you have a 10 or eight core CPU, you're gonna put eight, and then max processor count, you're gonna put a number above that. So if you have eight cores, you're gonna put a nine here. So eight here, nine here. If you have 10 cores, you're gonna put 10, 11. All right, easy as that. Uh, th this actually improved my FPS five to 10 FPS. It was, it was a nice, nice improvement. I'm gonna close that out. And last thing you're gonna wanna do is enable um, resizable bar. I believe for AMD, uh, this is called smart access memory. Now, you know, you can go on Google or YouTube, find out how to do that uh, for AMD. I don't have an AMD card. So what you're gonna wanna do is for, uh, for NVIDIA, 
you're gonna want to download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Now there's a whole tutorial on YouTube about how to do that and how to um, change all the settings and whatnot. I recommend you watch that type of video. Just type it in on YouTube, how to use, how do you enable um, resizable bar for any game? And you just uh, enable it for Battlefield 2042. So I'm not gonna see it here, but uh, there's gonna be a whole tutorial on YouTube that you can watch to enable that. Um, it's just gonna be take too long for this one video. So enable resizable bar for 2042. Uh, the reason that NVIDIA doesn't do it by default is because they're really slow on enabling resizable bar for games and they only add like, I don't know, one or two games per <laughs> per update. So um, they have not have enabled it by default for 2042, but um, you know, it doesn't work with all games, but I did see an improvement in Battlefield 2042. So go ahead and enable it in Battlefield 2042, and you are gonna see a little bit of an improvement. Uh, so this uh, improved my FPS from uh, the 55 to 65 FPS range, all the way to like 65 to 85, 90 FPS, depending on the map. Um, I'm still getting pretty you know, low FPS when I go to indoor areas and whatnot, because I do play on high and ultra settings, uh, but uh, it did improve my overall average FPS by quite a bit. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.